Thank you for joining us today. This is E.G. Braden, and what we're going to provide you today is going to be a little tutorial on showing you how to port forward the needed ports for the Xbox 360. So what you want to do first is just head over to your settings on your Xbox, and then you want to click on your network settings. Now between wired and wireless, it's totally up to you. I use a wired connection. Uh, I find there's a little less lag, which for gamers is really important. Now you want to click the IP settings and switch to manual. So this is where you're just going to manually type in your IP for your Xbox. The first three are going to be the same as it was. So mine was 192.168.1. And that fourth digit, you can make whatever you want. I'm making 80 as my old other one was 8. Now you got to remember that number because it's important later. Your subnet mask, uh, I've never seen any residential subnet max that's not 255.255.255.0 so it's safe to assume that this is going to be yours as well so just type that in and then we'll move to the last step on the Xbox which is your gateway this is your access point into your router admin panel basically so just type it in it depends on your brand of your router mine's a Netgear so my last two numbers are 1 and 1. Okay, and the DNS, you don't really need that. Most times you don't need it, so you can just leave that alone. And then from there, this is all you need for the Xbox. So what you can do, before you go to the next step, which we have to move to the computer, uh, let's just make sure that the Xbox Live connection is actually working. So let's just test the Xbox. Depending on your internet connection, this can take a little longer than mine or quicker than mine. So the network's all right. I already knew that. And the Xbox Live now. The third button between Internet and Xbox Live, if you have an NAT strict or not, it'll be red or yellow to kind of give you a heads up. So the next step is you actually have to get into the admin panel on your router. So just open up your favorite browser and type in that gateway. So depending on your brand of your router, it's .01.1.1.1.2, and then just head over to your port forwarding area. You're going to add them, customize. So the name doesn't matter. So you want to start off with the port 53. So just type it in starting ending 53 and that blank, that's that fourth number you assigned to your Xbox. So in my case it was 80. Add that in, doesn't matter on the name. Next one is port 80. Type that in. Again, the third port you want to open is 83. Sorry, 88. 88, that's the one. There we go. And type in the IP. Now this is the last one, is 3074. This is the last one for Xbox Live. Now for anyone out there that uses the Xbox Connect, uh, there's going to be a second port that you're going to have to open if you want to use the Connect Chat ability, where you can chat with uh, someone else that uses Connect, basically becomes your mic. So if you have that, the port you want to open is 1863. So you, once again, name doesn't matter. 1863, that's the one for the Connect. Type it in, type in your IP you gave to your Xbox, which is 80. Done. So it's really simple as that. You just have to get into your admin panel and assign that IP to your Xbox. Hit apply if you do. And that's everything. Thank you for watching.